So we know from multiple papers in the literature that patients with blood cancers tend to use hospice care services less frequently overall than patients with solid organ tumors. This is something that's been shown repeatedly over time, and it's something that we don't entirely understand, but that we do have some ideas about in terms of what might be driving this difference. The research that we presented at this year's ASH annual meeting included some evidence showing that hospice use probably is increasing actually in hematology. So we looked specifically at Medicare beneficiaries in the SEER data set who had leukemias of various types, so both acute leukemias and chronic leukemias. And we saw a significant increase in hospice use between 2001 and 2011 from about 35% in 2001 up to almost 50% in 2011. Another study presented at this year's ASH annual meeting showed a similar increase in patients with multiple myeloma. However, what we're also seeing is a failure to increase hospice use meaningfully. And what I mean by that is that patients with hematologic malignancies, when they do use hospice, which again is less frequently than those with solid tumors, tend to use it for a lot shorter period of time. We found an average hospice length of stay of only about nine days among hematologic malignancy patients and uh, with leukemias. More Concerningly, though, we found that those who were dependent on transfusions before hospice referral only used hospice for about six days. And those who do hospice care will tell you that using hospice care for just a few hours or a few days or even maybe a week or two is really not enough to derive the maximal benefits for patients and families when we know that it is really high quality care for those who are at the end of life who need that kind of care um, in terms of improving how they feel and their ability to stay at home when their time is short.